Aries Taurus to your bonus spiritual reading for August. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new um, to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's get in here. This is for spiritual growth reasons. Um, healing, getting in there, understanding what's going on around you, stuff like that. Okay, inspiration. Okay, guys, this reading isn't for everyone, so if you're on a spiritual journey or want one or trying to heal, this video is for you. Okay, take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, throw away. Okay. Okay, here we go. What is already within you, receiving, and faith in the process. Ooh, like those. Okay, so starting right off the bat over here is what is already with you. Wow. So I'm going to what is already with you. It says you hold in your hand that which you seek. In other words, the pair of spectacles you have been rummaging around the house for are sitting on top of your head. Oh my God, this must be my reading. <laughs> I'm not Aries Taurus, but I'm Taurus and I swear that just happened to me yesterday. Okay, anyways, keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so man, that just brought back like, pew. my kids were laughing. Yeah, it was really bad. Okay, so you might know exactly what I'm talking about here. It's like you're losing things. You think they're lost. Let's put it this way. You think they're lost, but they're right there in front of you. Okay, so your perfect solutions to what you think are nowhere near, you already have within you. So it's like you're looking for someone to tell you what the answer is, but deeply inside, you already know the answer. That's all that means. That's it, you know? It's that simple. It's that simple. You already know the answer, but yet you're looking for this, you know, maybe for some of you are looking for this bigger, huge picture um, of an answer when it's simply small and tiny sitting in front of you, right? So <clears throat> just remember that. So let's clarify on that. You have a new beginning with this. Your new beginning is right around the corner, like literally right around the corner. It feels like when it's telling you, what is it? Where is it? How do I get to it? It's actually right in front of you. It's like right, you're already there, right? It almost feels like it, you're already there. You keep asking yourself, where's this new beginning? You're already in it, literally right now. You know, it, it just feels like somebody saying, you keep saying you're going to get, I'm getting new beginnings. You keep telling me I'm walking into a new chapter. You are already there. Literally. Just because you, it's not something 100% that you can see. It's not something that you can 100% feel. doesn't mean that you're not there. See, and that's pretty much what this is telling you. Just like my glasses on my head yesterday. Got out of the shower, I put them up to put on my makeup, and then I went, ran around the house going, where are my glasses? And my kids are laughing, right? Because I can't feel them. I know we've all done this. Sunglasses, regular glasses, whatever, we've all done it, okay? But the point is, is that just because you don't 100% see it doesn't mean it's not there. It's like the snake that's getting ready to bite you. Okay, unless it's, you know, a rattlesnake, maybe you can hear him rattle, right? But this isn't a rattlesnake. Let's say that this is, you know, some kind of other snake that doesn't have a rattle. <laughs> okay, it's a cobra, okay? And you don't hear it because he's being silent and he's it doesn't have a rattle. So therefore, he's getting ready to jump at you. You don't even see him in the tall grass, and but he's literally there. And just because you don't see him doesn't mean that he isn't there and that he isn't getting ready to bite you, right? So 
it just feels to me like this whole reading right here is whatever it is that you're looking for, you're already in the new chapter. It's already there. Your new beginnings are there. Everything is right in front of you. It just doesn't make you feel any different. Most new chapters don't unless something's, you know, like we won the lottery or something. Unless something amazing happens, right? Otherwise, it just feels like every day. Like, you know, I got a new job. Yeah, I make a little more money, but I don't really see how a new chapter is coming. It's already there. It's just, it's just, um, you're walking into it delicately. Each new chapter is different. When you look back, you'll know that you were in a different chapter. I think that's the way that is. Okay, so receiving. Receiving. You need to take a breather. It just feels like even within this new world and what you're looking at, and maybe that's another reason too you don't see it, is you're so busy doing what you're doing. This new job, this new career, being a new mom, um, being a new grandma, helping watch the kids. However it is, you're so busy doing what you're doing, you don't see it. And that could be another huge reason because we have receiving over here, which is telling you, you need to relax. You need to have some time out um, so that you can receive the messages that you need for healing so that you can receive what it is that you're looking for. Um, this one says, um, you know, pretty much sur surrendering. So if you have a new world and you're waiting for new love, for instance, and you don't see anything yet, you need to, you might have to take a break Understand that you need to accept what you're, what you have coming at you, which is this new world, new beginnings. You need to accept it because you deserve it. But I just feel like you're so busy. You're drying out, running out of energy, doing all these things, and you haven't given your, yourself any time to just relax. Take in the energy from the universe. Let go of any negatives that you can take in. Kind of like just like meditation, right? You haven't taken a breather. This way, when you do take the breather, okay, you will then be able to embrace the gifts, understand what's going on around you. Then you might even be able to feel like you're in a new world, right? Understanding the beginnings, being able to Sit down, nourish yourself, rest, switch your mind off for a while. And then when you come back, you'd be like, wow, you know, I do feel better. I do feel like things are changing. It's not just the same. Like something that big is happening, right? We just need to have some restoration with our body. We just need to rest. And I think that's a lot of what it is, you know, and the only reason I couldn't find my glasses yesterday is the truth because I was running around like a mad person trying to get ready to go somewhere, right? So I'm putting on my makeup, running around, trying to get dressed, do this and that. And then I'm like, oh my God, I can't see, you know, I need my glasses. And then of course I'm like, hey, where's my glasses, you know? And it was because I was so busy trying to do this and do that and do this to get the kids to work that I really, if I would have just like, relaxed for like a second, I probably would have felt them on top of my head, right? But we get so busy in a busy world, um, there's no time for relaxation. Okay, so. If you guys are dealing with love, you will be able then to see this King of Cups coming it at you. It's like maybe you want them to be more within your world and it feels like they're not as much in your world as you want them to be. But in actuality, hindsight's 20, 20, they're actually there more than you think they are. Otherwise, on the other note, this is going to get, no matter what, let's just put it this way, no matter what, this is going to get your emotions back in check because you're going to be able to calm yourself, receive the energies, around you, let go of, you know, the, just the fastness of life is really what it really feels like. 
like getting a go of all those, like I gotta do this and I gotta do that. It just really feels very meditative. You know, you just need to relax. Um, and it's gonna get your emotions back into check. It's gonna make you perceive things a little bit better. You're, you know, going to see things differently than you had before. Like I said, if you are dealing with a water sign or just anybody at this time and you don't see them coming towards you, um, it's just because you need to relax. And then once you start relaxing and start thinking about it, be like, you know, I don't see them around as much as I would like them to be around. But, you know, I guess, you know, they are here more than I realize they are. It's just because everything's so fast paced. <clears throat> so there is that. It's just going to make you feel so much more independent, more luxurious, realizing the materialism that's going around for you, traveling. I love this travel because this travel is more of a travel of energy. It's you taking the journey, you relaxing, you seeing the finer things in life, you know, understanding the abundance that's actually around you, you understanding that, you know, right, yeah, what I already have is actually right here with me. And it's going to make you pretty much perceive yourself as the nine of pentacles, whether you're single or, you know, want this person or, you know, or you're already in a relationship and, you know, and you're like, I don't ever see you. And they're like, hey, I'm right here, you know, but it's just because it just feels, this whole reading feels very fast paced. You guys are really busy. <clears throat> and then it almost feels like you step for a second, you step this one way and you're like, hey, where is everybody? You know? I thought you said I was getting new beginnings. I feel like I'm in the same place. Everything's just, you know, zooming by. Okay. So, but yeah, it's going to give you, you know, this calming feeling. So you have to have faith in the process though. Whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're doing, you have to give it the faith. If you don't have the faith, you know, in understanding that you are in a new world or whatever you're looking for is right underneath your nose. Um, just pretty much everything. But if you don't have the faith that you're not gonna get anywhere because you're just gonna be full of emotions, go, 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 and always kind of negative in its, well, it's gonna be negative anyways. It's going to be negative anyways, because you're putting yourself in a, in an energy to where when you're always going and you never take time for yourself, your emotions are going to, your emotions are going to get all wacky. And when your emotions start getting wacky, it starts giving you into a negative uh, vibration. So you have to have faith within the process that everything that is going on is truly working for the best of you. And then it's literally moving the way you want it to move. And that's a good thing too, because you don't want to hinder the new process, right? So keep faith within the process so that it can, this new chapter can continue to keep moving at the pace you want it to do. Do not allow the new chapter to fall backwards with energy. Continue with your faith process so that the new chapter can run smooth and you can manifest everything smoothly. So if you've been manifesting something and you don't believe it's there, it's literally telling you it is. Some of you are manifesting love or literally just things you do love, right? But yeah, there you go, the magician manifesting. But you need to continue with this faith to get what you want, take the action towards what it is you love and knowing that it is. Yeah. It wants upside down. Do not allow the energy and the manifestation to go down the ladder, pretty much, right? Do not stop the communication within the faith within yourself. Um, just to have the understanding to keep moving forward. You're, it's almost feeling like, okay, so here's the, here's the point that I guess it, it is. I just heard it. Questioning. You're questioning. That's what it is. Thank you, spirit. I heard it in my head. That was what I was looking for. You're questioning everything around you. 
Where is it? Why? It's almost like where, why, I don't know. Questioning. Okay. Keep your emotions set as the Queen of Cups. Keep yourself loyal to your faith. Keep faithful. The Queen of Cups is a super, super faithful person. She is super faithful. She always knows what the bottom of her cup and she expects everything from the top of her cup all the way down to the bottom of her cup. She knows what's in that cup and she watches. She watches it. She uses her intuition and she knows exactly what she wants. And when she knows what she wants, she perceives it with faith. She is the most faithful of them all, right? And she uses that love and she uses that, you know, adoring everything around her. So just keep that Queen of Cups energy with you. And, you know, my biggest thing is, is when you start to question something, relax. Relax. Because once you start relaxing, then you can start perceiving what you already have what's actually truly there. Okay, so just relax. Take time out. You start getting frustrated. You start losing the faith. You start that wishy-washy behavior. Relax. Take a deep breath. You know? Okay, guys? And that was the reading for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.